Hi, Water Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader, and I'm here today to give you your weekend spread for each zodiac sign for the Water Signs. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. This is for August 7th until the 9th, 2020. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. Also, please take the time, whether you are the water sign or you are cross watching, to take the time to timestamp down below. Let's get started. We're first going to do the sign of Pisces here. Hope you guys are doing well. You first start off with the Three of Wands. So I feel that seriously somebody wants to take that action, okay? Uh, they're making me add that one wand here. He's looking over, looking at that waiting, okay? Looking hopeful, uh, waiting for those ships to come in to take that action, to complete that cycle in regards to taking that next step with the Four of Wands here. They've been definitely battling in the back of their head with, you know, uh, their thoughts is what I'm feeling here. But they're definitely coming to that completion with the Ten of Wands. And where's that Ten of Wands heading towards the Eight of Swords? So the Eight of Swords is entrapment of the mind here, and they're ending that entrapment of the mind. So I feel that somebody is seriously, here's the outcome and clarifier, somebody's rushing on in this weekend, Pisces, to communicate, okay? They've been patient long enough. They've had to find the patience for themselves to figure things out, okay, to end that mental anguish to get that success with you in regards to communicating again, I feel that was once upon a time cut off. You see the hand here of the higher font, the higher font uh, Taurus energy, but the higher font is known for that commitment, that relationship that was once cut off, okay? Uh, it was postponed. There was no success with this. They are now regretful and they remorse. I just heard remorse and they are coming back after quite a bit of time. The temperance does represent Sag as well, but I feel that they had to be patient with their own selves here to figure themselves out here to get the success now after it was cut off in regards to a relationship. So Pisces, what this tells me is that now somebody is willing to take the, you know, the bull by the horns, basically, uh, Taurus energy. Uh, but definitely, <laughs> sorry, uh, but definitely wanting to take that action now, okay, in the back of their head, they were battling what to do, but they, they're done battling here of not just fighting with themselves, they had to have patience with themselves, I know I keep saying it, but that's what it is, and the temperance is also long time, you know, that it took them to do this, all right, but they're ending that chapter in regards to their mind here, and they're rushing back to communicate, to go get what they want, which is that success in regards to a, a relationship that once did not happen is now coming about. So I hope that this helps, guys. Let's move on to the sign of Scorpio. All right, guys, this is what you have. Five cards spread, no clarifiers here. You have an outcome and a clarifier. This is kind of topsy-turvy in regards to this, all right? Uh, I feel that somebody really wants to put in the in the back of their head, they want to put in this work in regards to communication. The Page of Cups is known for that love offer, okay, through that communication. It's backseas towards the Eight of Pentacles because they could have had a little bit of spotty energy with that Knight of Wands, but it was slow motion in regards to action here. Uh, the thing is, is that, okay, hang on. You got the Hangman here. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. They're struggling to communicate is what I'm feeling here, okay? Uh, the hangman is known for that stagnation. But the thing is, is that I feel that they're frustrated with their own selves because they know that they, you know, did that they lack that, uh, what do you call it, the action here, okay? Of uh, putting in this work in regards to opening up and expressing how they feel, all right? But the thing is, the good thing is, is that they turn their back towards that hangman. They're just frustrated. That's what it is. A lot of fire here as well. You could definitely be dealing with fire. But I feel this a lot of frustration in regards. It's kind of like they're kicking themselves is what I'm feeling in regards to, man, I didn't, I, you know, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it as fast as I should have. I'm, I'm so frustrated because this nine is pretty darn long. And the hangman before it, whew, Long time is what that tells me, you know, and that in and out energy of not putting in this work, uh, you know, to offer that cup of love. This is what it is, okay? The outcome being the strength card, because in the back of their head, Leo energy, more fire, uh, but 
you know, there's that strength that they have to open up their mouth and speak, okay? Because in the back of their head, they know exactly what they want. Two nines. You know, long time coming to get this wish fulfillment. Here it is. They keep saying it. I'm just going to say it. It's all about the kahugas. <laughs> it, it really is, you know. I feel that for some of you out there, Scorpio, I feel that somebody is frustrated. They, you know, they lack that initiative to put in, or they have in the past. For some, I feel they're turning their back towards the stagnation anymore, and they're ready to come in, put in this work, and offer that cup of love. But they really got to have the encouragement, the strength to offer that cup of love because you are their wish fulfillment, I feel. Now, for some, they're going to chicken out is what I honest to God feel, okay? Because you got the two nines, the nine of wands and the nine of cups here. Yeah, you know, you got, there's still some of you out there that feel like you have to get to that. But, but it's encouraging, you know, to be able to move forward uh, in that direction, somebody from the past, I feel, uh, but moving forward in their life, realizing what they want, they just got to have that extra oomph to get their kahugas, you know, to gather together and to go get what they want. So it's kind of mixed energy. For some, I feel this weekend, Scorpio, you're going to get some communication uh, because they are turning away from that hangman and pursuing with action here to put in this work, okay? And offering that cup of love. And for others, I feel like they need to, the, the, these, these, this type of uh, group, okay? Not that it's much, but I feel that there is some type of group out there uh, that just not quite ready yet to open up, okay? It's getting there, especially with the two nines. So, I know that was a mixed message, so I hope that this helps. Either you know that they're going to come back or you know that they're only going to be, you know, ever so slightly so much closer to offering that communication and that cup of love. Because either way, you are their wish fulfillment. So I hope that that helps, Scorpio. I know it was all over the place here, but I got to read it like I say it, you know. All right, so let's move on to the sign of cancer. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, let's get going here. Nine of swords, outcome. Nine of cups, another one. Yeah, a lot of similar energies to, uh, I've noticed that, Scorpio as well. So cancer, you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. All right, so yeah, a lot of similar energies here. Okay. All right, so for Cancer here, you you start off first with the Two of Cups. So definitely in regards to a relationship, trying to have the strength here in regards to stagnation here, in regards to movement, all right, with the Chariot, and then the King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with Earth sign character here, okay? Uh, very good with their money, their balanced individual here, all right? You have the Nine of Swords as the Outcome Cancer as well as the Nine of Cups. That's what I mean. A lot of similar energies to Scorpio as well. I think they had it too. Uh, and then the Ace of Swords. So I do feel for whomever this is meant for, you're so close. I got to be honest with you. What I'm feeling here is that... Okay, two different messages. Actually, a few different messages. In regards to love here, you're still needing that strength of this stagnation, meaning no activity in regards to a relationship with that two of cups, okay? I, the first message is, is that have that movement to being grounded individual with that king of pentacles, okay? He's the top nine, all right? Uh, he's got his act together. He's totally balanced energy, okay? With the two nines here, it is coming in this movement. I'm feeling this is really the message here. You got the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I'm going with what I'm feeling. You are so close, Cancer, what I'm feeling here is that you're moving forward to complete your cycle, to be that King of Pentacles. You know, they're making me feel, the, the showing or bringing up to me, 
Uh, tarot is very similar to a regular playing deck of cards. You got your jack, you got your queen, you got your king. The jack is like basically, in my eyes, the way that I relate to it, is the knight, okay? Then you have the queen, then you have the king. The king is the top notch. So you're hiring your vibration level. You see how she's turned away looking? She's not looking at that hangman no more. She's been, you guys have been focusing on your balance of, of this, okay? Of this relationship. You've had to have the strength. It has not been fun in regards to, you know, staying strong in regards to all this stagnation of this relationship here. But you're, this weekend, I feel that you're going to accomplish in, re, in reaching, exactly, in reaching, being that king of pentacles. So that's good because, you know what, you're at almost to the end of that ten of swords, reaching that ten of swords. You're at the nine, you know, so, you know, you've been through the, this rocky road. Seriously, they're showing me the ice cream here. Uh, yum. Uh, but definitely, you're almost to the end here of that cycle of ending the mental anguish. And when you do... When you're able to continue to uh, look away from the stagnation of it all, you know, and just take that time to focus on you here and end this mental anguish. Is it there yet? No. Okay. This is this weekend's message is keep working on you. Keep looking, looking towards the stars in regards to your balance and healing your energy is what that says. Because once you do, that's when that wish fulfillment of that communication, that new start of communication comes in. Just never know where you're gonna go with this, don't you know? But yeah, but that's what I have for not just cancer, but for all the water signs out there. I really hope that this helps, guys. Please uh, take the time to like this video. I hear that the more likes, the more out there the videos get for me for my channel. I do appreciate it, as well as subscribing and. You guys be safe out there. The cases are going up around here. Please be safe out there, and I will talk to you later. Bye.